Hey everybody, it's Anna Melody. So, yeah, um, really quick unscripted video, or I'm gonna try and make it quick anyway. Um, because, and it's just, it's just a life update. And there's something really, really special at the end of this video, so please, I beg of you, stick around until the end. You're gonna wanna hear this. Um, cause it's really, really big, really exciting news. Um, okay, so... The things I'm going to talk about are my mental health break that I've been doing, the future of my creepypasta channel, the future of my secret dreamer channel, the lack of schedule that I've had, because, yeah, I couldn't keep that friggin' promise, no matter how hard I tried, uh, my commissions that I'm going to be, that I'm currently still accepting, and then the special message at the very end. So please stick around until then. Okay. <clears throat> Now, first thing first is my mental health break. Those of you who, that have followed me on Twitter, which thank you, I really do appreciate you following me there, um, have seen that I've posted that I'm on a mental health break. I'm making this video just to be like, hey, I'm still alive, I'm still kicking, I'm still gonna make videos, just I'm still on my mental health break for the time being. I don't know when I'm gonna get out of that, but it'll happen eventually. I just I just don't know when. But I'm taking life one day at a time. Um, I'm currently losing weight. Since I've been put into a new place, or well technically a new position in my job, and since I've started taking my mental health break, I've been losing weight. I've already lost about 20 pounds because of the job that I'm in is constant movement. Um, and I'm focusing more on me. And I'm realizing how much more uh, respect I'm having for myself. How my depression is getting weaker and weaker. And my confidence is um, getting stronger and stronger. And I'm really happy for that. And I really want to thank my friends for convincing me to finally, finally go on a mental health break. I do appreciate it. I appreciate you all so much. I'm not going to say what friends because I don't know if it's okay for me to say their names. So I'm just going to... if you, you know who you are. So thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Um, oh, before I forget, I want to thank everybody for getting me up to 33k. I, or Not 33k, excuse me. 3,300 subscribers. I cannot believe you all stuck by me for this long even when I barely post, which I'm trying to get better at, I promise, but I'll come to that in a minute. Um, but yeah, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be on this mental health break. I'm gonna try and get back to making videos ASAP, but health and life stuff comes first. That's all there is to it. Um, second thing is the future of my creepy pasta channel. I think, I think what I'm going to do is I'm not really going to be using that channel anymore. I know I started it in hopes of being able to do it, but it's just, it's, it's just not working out. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the videos that are on there, I'm going to leave them on there. Um, and what I'm going to do is for the future creepypasta videos, they're just gonna go on to my second QVP channel. And I think that'll work better. Um, it'll just it'll just work better in the long run. That's pretty much it for the creepypasta channel. So just, you don't have to worry about subscribing over there or anything. Just look on my second QVP channel and you should see them up you should see some videos uh, coming up there eventually. I don't know when, but I'm going to try and work hard, as hard as possible once my mental health break is over. Uh, third thing, my secret dreamer channel. I'm not getting rid of this channel just... Well, I'm not getting rid of it at all. Let me correct myself there. But I do have future plans for that. As, as to what they are, I'm not giving those away just yet. But... 
I do have plans for it. It's going to be important, and it's going to be related to next gen. That's all I'm going to say for that. So just keep a lookout, and just keep a lookout for that, and you'll see content on there whenever the next generation starts. I don't know what, but it'll be something. Okay, now one of the bigger ones, the lack of schedule. I know I said that I would start posting videos um, on certain days like the 15th and the 1st and all that good stuff and that I would post pictures every day and whoop de doo that didn't happen no matter how hard I tried. I had it going for a month and then that didn't work out so well. So I've really been thinking about this for the past few weeks and I think it would be best for me to just go on ahead and just do it once a month. I'm recording. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was my roommate. That was, that was Quillstroke. I'm sorry, I didn't know she was recording. <laughs> it's okay, just go away, I'll be done in a minute. Okay. I'm not editing that out because I'm lazy. <laughs> um. But I think it would be just better for me to just do it once a month because then that's a lot less hectic and it's a lot less of a strain and it would give me a chance to provide even better content, um, more professionally put together content. And it'll just allow me to focus a lot easier. So I apologize for making that first schedule and pinky promising. I feel horrible for breaking it. I don't like breaking my pinky promises. I hate it so much. You have no idea. I don't like breaking promises because then I feel like a bad person and I know I'm not a bad person, but it just, it makes me feel like I'm unreliable and I don't want to be like that. So from now on, life permitting is more than likely going to be just one video a month. It could be on this channel, or it could be on, it could be on either of my QVP channels, because I'm more than likely going to upload this video to both. Um, that's my future schedule. Now, the next big one is commissions. Yes, I'm still, I'm still working on a fanfic commission, which I'm so sorry to the person that's commissioned me. I know it's, it's beyond late. I'm really, really, really sorry. But again, life likes to take over and ruin everything for me or make everything worse or possibly make everything better. And then it just, <sighs> I know it's no excuse and I'm, I'm really sorry. I am working on it though. Um, I'm also still working on the CMC 10 K. I am working on that. I promise. I just need to get, I just need to get my, lines gathered up and put together and pretty soon I'll be editing like crazy or <sighs> as crazy as I can. Um, but my commissions are still open. They are still $10 as a base price and then $1 per hour that have been worked on. So say I get commissioned for a comic dub to do It'll be $10, the base price, and then say it takes four to five hours to work on, which it probably won't. Probably will take like two hours max. Maybe. It's not certain. Don't quote me on that. Um, so then that would be $12 right there. Or it could be a song, and those actually do not take too long to edit. So that could be just $10 flat. Um, but not only am I going to be doing personal commissions, I'm also thinking... And I more than likely would not have a problem doing this, um, doing audio editing commissions. That would be just me cleaning up the audio, um, taking out any dead space, um, taking out any bloopers and sending those in a separate file, um, and just making it nice and presentable for you. Um, if you would, what I want to do is do that at a $10 flat rate as well and then do the $1 per hour worked on it. And then if you wanted me to 
send you the bloopers in an extra file, that would be $2. And there goes my Discord. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, there goes my Discord, sorry. Um, but anyway, personal commissions and audio editing commissions, $10 a flat rate, and then $1 per hour worked on. Uh, extra audio files such as bloopers sent would be two dollars and then uh, adding music I would just add on one more dollar for that okay I'm <laughs> the reason I'm wanting to do more commissions is because I'm trying to get a new computer desk because right now I'm just working on a coffee table and my floor because I'm given, because it's just, it just seems easier at the moment. And I'm wanting a real computer desk. My computer desk before was fine. It's just, it just, it seemed small to me. And so I'm really hoping to get more commissions and put that money towards a brand new computer desk and a brand new computer chair. And everything will just be so much easier. Um, I'm trying to think. There was something else I wanted to talk about. I think that might have been it, though. Um, if I think about it later, I'll just post it on Twitter. Um, but the last thing is probably the thing I'm most excited for. I am going to BronyCon! That's right, I've been a little more than hinting at it. <laughs> But I'm going to BronyCon, and I've never been this excited f to go to a convention other than last year, because last year was my first one. But this is my second year going to BronyCon, and my second convention ever. Only this time, I'm going to be on a panel. I've dreamed on being on a panel for so freaking long now. And the fact that I get the chance to... It makes me so happy. And I'm very happy to say that I'm going to be on this panel with one of my closest friends, Scribbler. I'm going to be on it with... Well, I don't know. I don't remember if she said it's okay to say who else was on it. So I'm just going to leave it there. But I know for a fact she said it's okay for her to say it. I can't remember if she said anybody else. So just... Keep a lookout for anybody else going to BronyCon and see if they make any announcements. But I'm I'm so happy that I get to be on a panel with someone who I consider one of my closest friends. And I never thought that she would ask me. I never thought that anybody would ask me to be on a panel. The second I heard that, I lost my I lost my cool. I was like, really? I. <laughs> I died. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's, oh shoot, it was going to be, here I can pull it up real quick. Let's see, do 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 do, professionalism at its finest, am I right? <laughs> Let's see here, where was it, where was it, where was it? I'm still looking where to go. Where to go? Where to go? I just had it. Okay, here it is. I'm so sorry about that. Okay, so I don't know if it's okay to say the name of the panel yet, but what I'm the time frame is going to be 7:15 to 8. It's 17 bleh, 7:15 p.m. to 8 p.m. And it is, let's see, where, where is it? It is in the, oh, where was it? Where was it? I'm so sorry. I'm so professional, aren't I, right? <laughs> do, do, do. Okay. It is going to be in the Hall of the Moon from 7.15 p.m. to 8 p.m. So, and that's going to be on Saturday. Saturday? 7.15 to 8, Hall of the Moon. 
again, Scribbler, if you're watching this, I want to thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. You have no idea how much this freaking means to me and how happy this makes me and how I'm so happy for all the good that you helped me do and all the good that you've done for me and just everything. And it's not Scribbler I just want to thank. I want to thank everybody. I want to thank Scribbler Lost, Magpie. Uh, I want to thank my boyfriend, Vector Brony, for just making me so happy over these almost eight months. I want to thank just everybody in my life. There's so many names I can't put out. But thank you all so much. And thank you all if you manage to stick around for this oh lordy lordy lord 16 minute thing. I'm so sorry. Um, if you manage to stick around for this long, thank you so much. And I really and again, I really appreciate every single one of you. Um, but that's it for the time being. Um, I'm gonna try and post more. My commissions are open. I don't plan on shutting them either anytime soon or at all. And I'm gonna get try and get that fic commission done ASAP. So if you if the person who out there is commission who see bloopers happen every friggin' day. <laughs> if the person who commissioned me is watching this, I'm gonna work as hard as I can to get it done. So. Thank you all so much for sticking by me for so long. Thank you all for understanding why I haven't been posting like I said I would. And just thank you. Thank you all so much. I look forward to seeing every single one of you at BronyCon. And yeah, I I can't wait to see you all there. Um, if you see me, don't be afraid to come and say hi. I'm, I'm super friendly. I'm like one of the friendliest people and no, I'm not ego boosting. I'm, as far as I know, one of the friendliest people that I know of. I'm, I'm cool to say hi and everything. So just come on and meet me. And yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, I will talk to y'all later. And again, sorry about the computer fan. I know it's loud. I'm not in the best room exactly. But yeah, I'll see y'all at BronyCon. Bye.